Hey everybody, uh, Ben here. Uh, first hike of the season. I'm uh, going to go up Elephant Head just outside of Malone, New York. Uh, it's 62 degrees on a Saturday. Uh, fresh rain last night, so there's going to be a little bit of mud on the trail. Um, looks like I have the place to myself so far. Uh, nobody at the parking lot here. You can drive further down the road. Um, they don't recommend it for a car because it gets a little rough, so I'm just going to park here. It's about a mile and a half. Uh, road walk to the trailhead um, and there's a geocache on the way the mosquitoes are pretty bad already so I think I'm gonna put on some of that natural that I got in one of the Cairn boxes um, unfortunately one of the first things I saw here was this mess somebody decided to dump children's toys a refrigerator an old TV so yeah that's great that's a problem with uh, easily accessible nature spots people just take advantage so I'm using the um, the glyph I, did a, I have a video on that I haven't put out yet but I will put that out uh, to hold my iPhone and I'm gonna be using that on the on the trail as well so here we go all right and we're off about a mile and a half on this easy trail I go I do about when Odin and I walk I do about 20, 25 minutes or so a mile, so this shouldn't take too long on this flat surface. So far, it looks like the car could have made it down here pretty good. Um, it's about 10 o'clock, 10 15. I'm gonna meet a friend of mine to go see Alien Covenant this evening. Uh, so, hopefully, I got time to do that. Never know, I don't have enough experience judging how long these things take me. It's really good, a good beat on it. I did put the Natropel on. Natropel wipes came, I think, in the last Karn, Karn box. Um, I've got my GPS going. Making good time here. Let's see, I'm also wearing the Njinji socks that came with the, with the Karn box. And the Mission underwear that came with the Karn box. Wearing the Koto Paxi backpack. So I'm kind of on a Karen adventure. And some of the snacks I have um, with me are from Karen 2. Uh, I did cancel my Karen subscription. I'm going to do a video on that. Um, they, were ra they raised the price from $25 a month to $30 a month for the monthly subscription. They offered me a deal if I wanted to do six months or a year, but I did not want to shell out more money all at, all at once like that. So I just canceled. It was a good run. I got a little bit of an incline here. I'll we'll catch back up with you a little bit. Okay, so I think I've made it to the last parking area there was a couple of parking areas along the way uh, the trail got increasingly more uh, muddy and had big rocks in it so uh, there's several little spots to pull over along the way if you wanted to shave yourself a little mileage um, you could probably turn around in a couple of those but there was a big mud hole that would probably stop most cars uh, but now I'm in uh, another garbage area apparently people must come up here to party uh, there's garbage there there's a no camping sign back here I assume hopefully not you know this is it kills me when I assume I'm going through here we came from that way um, according to the GPS I am 0.1 miles from the trailhead or where the GPS or where the geocache is anyway so uh, I'm guessing it there's some boulders right here. So let's journey into here. You can see the bugs are the mosquitoes are in particular are, are pretty bad. Alright, so there's rocks here blocking the path. So I'm guessing we're getting closer. I don't want people driving up this way. Alright, so I'm gonna proceed down this way a little bit and I'll catch back up with you. When we get to the actual trailhead. All right, guys. So 
a little winded. Uh, I lied. There was no trailhead other than the one that's at the road. There was a quick turn off of the flat part of the trail. And then it started getting steep and there was a little arrow that said trail. I just put it up that way, up this way. And um, from there you just follow the yellow trail marker, circular trail markers. Um, I believe I'm close to the top, the stairs right here, I believe in the descriptions or an indicator of uh, being near the top. So there's some ups and downs along the way. I think I missed a spot on my the back of my uh, elbows because um, mosquitoes are going crazy there. So I'm going to have one more Nutripel, Natripel uh, wipe that I'll apply right before I leave. And I got black flies now. So mosquitoes, black flies. Uh, so far we've managed to avoid deer flies and horse flies. So that's plus my uh, iPhone battery is about ready to run out of course. No matter how much you start with, this thing doesn't seem to hold the charge anymore. So I do have my backup Canon pocket camera. So I will shoot with that um, if I lose battery. Did have a portable battery in the car but didn't bring it because I didn't want to carry the weight. So uh, we'll push on towards the summit and uh, we'll catch you again there. Okay, so we made it. This is where I came from. You're going to want to, when you get up those stairs, you go up a hill, little bit of a hill, and then you're going to see a path that divides. I didn't see any uh, trail markers at that point, so you're going to want to stick to the left hand fork, and it kind of wraps back around, and you're going to come out to this little overlook. The other way, if you take a right at the fork, um, you end up at a, a big boulder and a big drop off, which there might be some views there in the winter and the fall uh, once the leaves start to come down, but there wasn't, I couldn't see anything now. So here is the view. And honestly, I don't know what lake that is. It may be Lake Titus. Um, I will have to look that up. I'm terrible with geography. Uh, I don't know how well we can see this, but it goes down over there. It's more water. I'm not sure what mountain that is. Again, terrible with geography. Um, not much of a spot to sit here. There's one little rock to sit on. Uh, you can sit back in the woods a little bit. Uh, bugs are bad. Black flies looks like at this point. Uh, which is, fl Black flies flying around don't bother me as much because they don't really make a whole lot of noise. It's the mosquito buzzing that gets you. So we made it for our first hike of 2017 and, and my first mountain hike for quite a few years. Um, so I started, started uh, small. This is only going to be around four miles round trip. Most of that was walking on the road. Um, and I realized I'm uh, more out of shape than I thought I was. Never been in terribly good shape, but uh, I made it. I feel okay now. Um, a lot of it's mental. I'm like, how much further, how much further. I don't, not, I don't like not knowing, you know, where the end is. So I'm getting swarmed by black flies now. So I'm going to just uh, set her down, take a rest, maybe try to get a picture of myself up here somehow. Um... And I didn't get the geocache. I'll get that on the way down. Um, I went right by it. I wasn't too far off the trail, so I wanted to get up here and get this done. So uh, we'll we'll catch you uh, on the way down uh, at the geocache, probably. Found the geocache at 12 o'clock on May 27th. Pretty. Uh, Easy find, a little hard to get to add a bushwhack. Somebody's cut some trees down between uh, the trail and an easy way to the cache, so you kind of had to bushwhack over the top of that. But we found it, so that's a find. I have donned the bug net just to keep them out of my ears. Um, but we're uh, down off the trail, headed back on the road portion, so I should be out soon. All right, so I'm about a half mile from the car. And this is about the only thing that would have stopped me from going all the way with the car to the very last parking spot, which would have shaved off about a mile and a half or so. So you would only have had a little bit of a mile round trip, maybe. Um, not knowing what's in the bottom of that big puddle, um, I wouldn't want to take the car through there, but it's pretty... Pretty uh, smooth going from there. 
Definitely could do it with a truck. Uh, I came across three couples just now on the way home. Um, on the way home, yeah. On the way back. Uh, first couple were probably in their 50s, well, there's three of them, 50s and their 60s. And uh, they had a little uh, Scotty, it looked like, with them. A little Scotty dog. Um, then I came across a French Canadian couple with their little boy just getting ready to go. They were at the far parking lot. Oh, they had a truck. Just passed a red truck that was parked at one of the parking spots. They could have definitely gone all the way. Got another bit of a mud hole here. So that might have been problematic with the car. Hiking poles help to get you around these without getting too wet. I didn't, I didn't get too wet. I've switched to the other camera because my iPhone is dead or just about dying. So I've switched to my Canon handheld. I'm not sure how well this is working or how my audio is. Um, I just stepped in a puddle there. Like I said, I'm about a half a mile from the car. Going well. We'll wrap it up when I get to the car. Okay, so here's another, it's hard to tell on the camera. This is another hairy section. The, the water must have been running right through here. Around, you kind of see it going up that hill. So it gets a little hairy there. Um, you'd be slow going with the car. Um, you can just see the water ran right down to here. We're about 0.3 from the car and then probably ran off into the woods there. But there's, oh no, it kept on going right through here. You can follow the river down to here. So if the water went right around in here. Then you kind of lose the trail here, but uh, mosquitoes are been on and off and pretty heavy, so that would have been tricky with my car, uh, like a regular four-door sedan kind of deal. Uh, like you could do it, but it would be tricky because I've taken that on some pretty hairy uh, spots. But <clears throat> so that's your probably your I think that's your first bottleneck that there's a place to park slightly beyond that um, and if it had just rained I probably wouldn't recommend going this far with a regular car again four-wheel drive SUV kind of deal Jeep truck you'd be fine uh, all the way up to the last spot you will know where that is because that's a bunch of boulders Those boulders I showed at the beginning that's your last stop uh, I think I see the vehicle up ahead Somebody's parked next to me, so we're not far from the end now. Well, there it is, 12.47, uh, back at the car. Uh, I think I left around 10.15 after a bit of a weird start to the trip. Um, when I was almost to Malone, um, this lady ahead of me, the mosquitoes got in here, uh, just drifted off the road and down a six foot ditch and it was into the drainage basically and the, and the water was pretty deep and her car just kind of settled down in there she missed uh missed a couple of trees and didn't seem to damage the car any so i called 911 pulled over and um this other guy stopped behind me who was behind me and he went down to get her to to check on her while i was calling for help she wouldn't get out of the car wouldn't roll down the window wasn't real responsive and then finally before the before re uh, rescue got there and the police she she came out and she didn't really know what had happened. So uh, we just stayed with her until the police came and uh, the ambulance came first actually and, and got her all set up. Um, police came and took a couple, you know, just asked us what happened. And then we were, I was back on my way, realized I didn't have my ID, turned around, went back to the house. So what was going to be an 8.30 start time was a 10.15 start time. Or, I, you know, I left around 8.30, but I didn't get to the trail until 10.15. But we made it. Uh, it was a good hike. Uh, I would recommend going in the morning um, like I did probably earlier that way you'll have it all to yourself I kind of wanted the place all to myself bugs are probably gonna be better as it warms up but uh, they were pretty rugged uh, on the way here I will do a what's in my pack video for basically everything I carried on this trip separate from this video um, so that was elephant head uh, in Malone New York uh, nice little hike probably around two hours about four miles round trip if you park way out here where I am uh, again with an SUV truck you could get a lot closer be a lot quicker um, no roadblock it's all roadblock not very bad um, 
pretty steep uh, on the way up roots and rocks and whatnot but um, plenty of little kids do it elderly people do it so um, I just need to get in better shape so anyway thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon